huge questions about Klopp's judgment of a player oh. then when he, as I said, invests so much in, this, in bringing this player back. Well, he, listen, he works on every day. You know, he sees something that maybe most people don't. He showed a lot of faith in him. He showed a great deal of faith. I, I come back to, I'd like to say to, to Klopp, if I've ever got the opportunity, you know, in big away games, why, why, do you, why do you have to feel you have to win it so early on? I, I, see, I see him as a player you would bring on if you were chasing the game. Mm. But start solid because the minute you're giving goals away, they got away with it tonight because they got the goals first up. But it wasn't anything to do with Moreno. But, you know, normally away from home, you start solid, see how the game pans out. If you go behind, then you get more adventurous players onto the pitch. But he starts with the most adventurous team he can put on the pitch in big games away from home. I, I, I'd like to ask him the question how, or how, because this Liverpool team ain't good enough to do that against the very best teams. Go and yeah. take them on in a goal fest. And they were still were three two up when he gave Moreno the, the hook. Neil, he steadied things up. He brought Milner on. He brought Chan on. Yet Sevilla still had chances, and eventually, 93 minutes, they get the goal. Well, the momentum was with Sevilla, and they were pressing. You know, this is some of the chances that they had Pizarro back post. They just went for it, Sevilla. And to be fair, they defended a lot better, even though Liverpool had a couple of decent chances on the counter-attack. This was a 3-2. It's a fantastic save from Carrius, and in the end, it's given the offside. But Liverpool were ragged at this stage. You know, with the two goals back in the game, there's only one in it. This is so unlucky. Vasquez made a huge difference coming on for Sevilla. Benega started picking the passes in between the lines. And this is, you know, the last kick of the game. Your centre half has to head that clear. Clavin, not dominant enough. Look, it's sort of a half header into an area where there's no Liverpool player. He's even got time to take a touch and volley it in. It is really, really poor. I do have an enormous amount of sympathy for Klopp, you know, tonight because there's Sometimes there's things that are out of your control and I'll ask, that feels like a defeat for Liverpool well, tonight. That's a, that's a good point to pick up there, uh, Graham. Is that a really damaging night for Liverpool's morale? But, Despite yeah. the fact it's a waypoint and such a hard place to go. Yeah, they will feel, listen, he will try and promote it. Well, look, we came here, we got a result. We didn't get beat. Mm. But when you're 3-0 up away from home and you give up the three goals <laughs> in that manner, it isn't good. Try to look beyond tonight. You know, if you're going to win big trophies... You have to be able to keep the ball yeah. better than they did tonight when they were three. You know, when they were three 0 up, just keep the ball. Don't have to win another. Don't have to score another goal. Just keep the ball and don't give up chances like they did. Tonight. We'll come back.